Hello there. To install Control Net for Automatic 11.11, go to the Extensions tab. Click on the Available tab. Click on the Load From button. Search for Control Net in the search bar. There will be an entry called sd-webui-controlnet. There is an Install button to the right of it. Click it. Go back to the Installed section. Check to see if the Control Net extension is there. Then click on the Apply and Restart the UI button. As you can see, it crashed when I restarted Stable Diffusion Web UI. Just restart it manually and it should come up. After the UI has restarted, click on the Text to Image tab. Check that Control Net is there. Tick the Enable box to use Control Net for Stable Diffusion. Select Open Pose for the control type. For the preprocessor, select Open Pose. On the right hand side, you can select a model. As you have just downloaded Control Net, there won't be any models. The model is needed to detect a human pose. To download a model, just do a web search for Control Net Hugging Face. Click on the link. I've included it in the description of the video. Press Ctrl F and search for Open Pose. Click on the file with the .pth extension. Click on Download. Once it has downloaded, go to your Stable Diffusion directory and go to Extensions, SD-WebUI and to Models. Place the file openpose.pth in that directory. Go back to Automatic 11.11. Click the blue Reload button to the right side of the Models drop-down menu. Click on the Models drop-down menu, select the Open Pose model. To copy the posture of real people, search the internet for an image you want your character to resemble. Drag and drop that image into here. Click the explosion button between the preprocessor and the models field. You may want to use a different preprocessor to detect a specific feature. I'll show you how to import custom poses if the posture from your image isn't recognized correctly. All the key points have been recognized in my image. Scroll down a bit and click on Control Net is more important. This ensures that the generated character looks just like the detected pose. Prompt the model and generate an image. If your image is not detected correctly, you can use a pre-configured pose. There are a lot of them available on the internet. I'll just show you how to download and install them. Search the internet for CVIT AI. Click on CVITAI.com. Search for Open Pose. There is a pose collection here. Click on it. On the web page, make sure it doesn't say LoRa. This is what it looks like if it is a LoRa. Now back to the right one. You can see the stickman with the colors. Click on download. This will download a .zip file. Right click on the .zip file and extract it. I'll open the folder. Click on view and then click on extra large icons to see the poses. Just click the X on the top right of the image. As the pose is already set, click on the preprocessor and select none. Click on the explosion icon again. The pose you selected is displayed to the right of the pose image. Prompt the model again and click on generate. For batch generation of a large number of poses, click on the batch button just to the right of the single image tab. Enter the path to the directory in which all the pose files are located. If you're on WSL2, just enter the path to the mount C. Click on the Enable button, select Open Pose and leave it set to None for the preprocessor. Prompt the model and click on Generate. Check the command prompt to see the progress of the generation process. There is also a website called openposes.com. It has poses and displays a picture on top of it. Just search the internet for Open Poses and click on the website. When you see a pose you like, click on the picture. This will open a new link with the picture of the pose. Right click the image and save it. Go to the Stable Diffusion Web UI and click on Single Image again. Drag and drop the pose onto the canvas. Click on the explosion icon again. Before clicking the explosion icon, make sure your preprocessor is set to none. Click Generate. 